On Wednesday at our uh, building leadership team meeting, we had a really great conversation, some brainstorming just about the workload in general. And I'm speaking to our certificated staff right now. Um, admin, I'll just speak for us. We understand how hard the work is. We're working really hard too. Um, we aren't developing lesson plans. We aren't assessing kids on a daily basis, formatively, and then you know every week or so something more summative. But we understand, we know that uh, the grind is probably double maybe what it's been in past years and probably even more than it was during distance learning itself. Uh, you're doing the work to meet the needs of kids and and I don't mean just academic. I know it's, uh, it's full circle. So appreciate all the work you're doing. So the topic that came up and I'm gonna kinda uh, beat your department chairs to the punch a little bit uh, to help them out mainly is I want you guys to have some conversation in your next department meeting Okay, about how to lighten the load and the things we talked about is we have a series of SIP boosters which are tied into our SIP. I can't let go of that um, as a principal, as the duties I have bestowed upon me. We have to stay aligned with that. Um, but we're trying to figure out ways that teachers can also create a little bit of work relief. Um, and I know keeping up with the SIPs, um, especially if you're new and <laughs> to some degrees, how does this year not feel new to everybody? Um, if there's opportunities within your departments or within you know specific content areas where you're looking at each 45 minute SIP and let's say you coupled two of those together, that would give your department an hour and a half uh, to work on department type things that as long as they're improving or meant to improve student learning and you wanna substitute that for let's say two of those SIP boosters, I want to create that avenue for you to do that. I don't want to get too creative here, you guys, because when we get too creative, keeping the documentation and keeping me accountable to the stakeholders, the taxpayers, and the people across the street um, becomes an impossibility. And when we do get audited, and I'm not saying if, but when we get audited, we got to make sure we have clean books, okay? That's my realm. That's what I have to deal with, and I'm always going to, I have to serve that. So we did some brainstorming. We had some other ideas too. And there's never anything wrong with asking. Um, just know that in some cases we can't get to yes. Um, one of our department chairs asked yesterday, um, they, in their department, they've asked for extra time. And some of the extra time they're doing is an extra extra. It's not trying to figure out how to substitute something for something else. Um, the thought was, could we also do that as an and? No, it would have to be an or. Um, we can't do both. So I guess what I'm saying is they've asked for extra hours to be paid out of categorical for several of their teachers to come together and talk about the things that they can't hit in PLCs and they just don't have time in department meetings because um, really their department meetings more about just updating them with what's going on at school. So we're looking at that through our um, decision-making model. The admin team has approved that for those funds, but that's not the same as the SIP booster. SIP boosters, you've already been paid for in your contract. You're being paid for throughout the year. So these are hours you're expected to do. And there's a total of 20 SIP boosters and they come out to, I don't know, whatever, 45 minutes. And I think six of them, so 45 minutes at 14 sessions, and then six of the sessions are embedded in our staff meetings, and those are 30 minutes each. And just to kind of give you an example, last week it was Brandy Cole and the resource teachers, um, or two weeks ago when we had that the staff meeting, they talked about you know supporting IEPs and our students who are being supported by those. So that'd be a 30 minute example of the things we've been doing and ed puzzles. I know PSYOP, they're doing their trainings more in person. Um, that's the one coming up next week. Those we can't record because each situation is its own dynamic situation. I would say because we have over 300 uh, ELL students in the building, that would be one that you'd want to say I really need to go to. Um, I know that's a tough juggle during your planning time, um, but that's the only one we can't record. As for the recorded versions, the ed puzzles, things like that, um, the intent is, is you watch them each week, sometime during the week. It's 45 minute watch at the most. Of course, there's Usually that's shorter than that, but with the reflection time and answering a few of the reflection questions, it should be about 45 minutes, maybe maybe 35, maybe up to 45 or 50. So I don't think that's a big ask, but I also understand that what's going on uh, in the world right now with COVID and all the other things that we're managing and 
and that raises uh, you know the temperature a little bit. Um, I want you to also work smart. I want you to take care of yourself. If you save those for the weekend, that's fine. What I said yesterday or Wednesday is let's not turn it into a big binge session. Um, like we might binge watch a Netflix series or something like that during one of our breaks, because that doesn't serve our students. The idea is we learn the content, we take a few of the kernels out of it, and if we can apply those and see how well they work. They may work, they may not and then have some conversations in your PLCs or in your department meetings about those. But it's just about uh, continuous improvement in, in this world we're living in right now. Um, I know we can do it. We want to be smart about it. So your department chairs will be talking to you about how can you consolidate your time? How can you lighten the load? Can you do some substitutions in lieu of a SIP booster? How could we document that to make sure that when we are audited, uh, that our books are clean because we need to have clean books and we need to have um, energetic and revitalized teachers too. So it's a balance. Um, so anyway, have great conversations. Your chairs will get back to me and hopefully we can uh, lighten the load a little bit and be really smart about it. Okay, guys, have a great day.